Good morning everyone. Welcome once again. Today we are going to start our literature chapter lesson number 3 and uh, hurry up hurry up take out your books. This is inside multi skill English course main course book 2. I hope everybody has taken out. Now take out the third chapter. Yes, this one. An old magic pan. Right. We will read this chapter. It is very interesting chapter. Okay. Read it along with me. Take out your pencils. Like I am going to take out my pencil. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is my pencil. And let's start reading. An old magic pan. So what is pan basically? Mama use uh, Mama uses pan, no? frying pan to fry the to cook food to fry onions and all, you know? Let's start. Identify and name these kitchen utensils. Find out what they are used for. So there are four kitchen utensils. You have to look which is spoon, which is pan, which is ladle, and which is frying pan. Now from here we are going to start the chapter. It is very interesting chapter. Read it along with me. So, let's read. Once there was a boy named Vipu who lived with his father in a village. So, as you come to know, there is a boy. What was the name? Vipu. And he used to live with his father. He was five years old and was very kind-hearted. And what was his age? He was five years old and he was very kind-hearted. He was very kind by his heart. Very helpful, very kind. The people of that village were very poor. It didn't have enough food to eat. And the village in which he used to live, the people of that village were very poor. They don't have anything to eat. So one day, Vipu went to the forest to get some wood and met an old man there. One day in the early morning, Vipu went to the forest, jungle mein gaya, and he uh, to get some wood for cooking and all. Eh? And he, there, there he met an old man. Vipu walked up to him and greeted him. Vipu then went to him and greeted him good morning sir do you need some help good morning sir do you need some help the old man was impressed by vipu's kind words he replied yes my boy can you please look after my pan for this winter? So he said, Vibhu said, uh, Good morning sir, do you want some help? And then he was very pleased. The old man was very happy to listen such a kind words. He said, Yes, yes my boy, please look after my pan. He was having some pan in his hand. So he said, okay, look after my pan for the winter, for this winter season. He took out an old pan and handed it over to Vipu. And he took out from his bag an old pan and gave it to Vipu. Then he showed him the magic of the pan. Have you seen magic of the pan in the kitchen when mama cooks food? No. Look, an old man has a pan which shows magic to you. Let's read. He called out to the pan. Cook, pan, cook. So, he gave the order to the pan. The old man gave order. Cook, pan, cook. The pan started making a pudding. What is pudding? It's something Swedish. Swedish, you can say. And as he said, stop, pan, stop. The pan suddenly stopped. When the old man said cook, pan, he started cooking pudding. Then when he said stop, pan, stop, the pan suddenly stopped. Magic, na? So imagine when Mama says in the kitchen, cook pan, cook. And the pan started cooking some delicious food for you. And Mama says, stop pan, stop. How interesting. Mama ka kaam kam ho jayega fir to. 
<laughs> Let's read. The old man told Vibhu to use it as and when required. Vibhu took the pan home and showed it to his father. Uh, but uh, the old man said, use it when you require it. Okay, whenever you need need for the this pan, just use it for that. Vibhu was very happy. He took the pan and uh, after going to the home, he showed it to his father. Father was both surprised and happy. They put the pad in the safe place. So father and uh, the both were very happy and surprised. Father was very surprised. Wow, Vibhu has brought a beautiful pan, a magic pan. The next morning, Vibhu went to fetch water from the river. What is fetch? Fetch means to bring water from the river. While he was away, his father felt hungry. So when he was out to bring water, his father felt very hungry. So uh, he took out the pan. He said in a clear tone, he said in a clear tone, cook pan, cook. The pan started to cook pudding. He filled a bowl for himself. Today we are going to read up to here and on Wednesday I am going to give you uh, like read the next page to 25 page. You just read to these pages and rest I will read it on Wednesday. Till then bye bye.